Hello everybody. This is the restroom in the master bedroom. And you see the water stains. They were there when I bought this house. They were there in the other toilet and I replaced him. And I have not gotten around to replacing this one. But I saw on TV where you could use a pumice stone to remove hard water stains. And if it works, that would be lovely because it would save me from replacing this toilet. And what you see back there in the back was also on the front up here. And you see I've already been scrubbing here where it's clean. And what you see over there was likewise over here and I have been scrubbing that. So I'm going to keep on scrubbing and I'll show you when I'm finally done. Hopefully that'll be today. It depends on how much my arm is willing to do. Well, I think I'm going to need another stone to get it fully done, but it is making a huge difference. I had actually debated about taking sandpaper, but I didn't want to scratch it up, but I'm at the point where I'm ready to throw the toilet away and get a new one. You know how you just tired of seeing things it embarrasses you I don't let people into this bathroom because of it I bought a new one for the other one because I didn't know how to deal with it Lime Away doesn't take care of it Ajax doesn't Clorox doesn't so many things I have tried to dissolve these stains and a pumice stone seems to work the best I'm gonna keep going at it till I run out of this and then when I buy groceries again, I'll buy another one to finish them up. But I think this is going to work. I have to rest my arm every few minutes. <laughs> this is pretty strenuous. Um, I was going to say that I don't know if the previous owners had not cleaned their toilets and that's why it got this way. Or if it was the fact that this house sat empty for a year and a half before I bought it. And uh, the hard water stains, maybe the toilet leaked, you know, kept running water out of the back end of it. I don't know what the story is behind it, but it's been a devil trying to get him out today. <laughs> but I'm going to keep scrubbing for today and then... I'll go with what I've got stuck with, and then the next time I go to the store, I'll buy another one of these. They are two bucks at Walmart. It said online they were $1.38, but it really winds up being $1.89 or something like that. So, back at it. Well, I used them until there wasn't any more of them to use. So, I'm going to turn the water on and give the toilet a flush. Let's see where we stand now. Okay, let's give it a flush. Well, it's a vast improvement. We've got a long way to go. It's all hard water stain, guys. I do wash this toilet all the time to the point where I've stripped paint off the back. That's not dirty. That's paint that's chipped off. I may give him a good painting, but that's an improvement. I'll buy another pumice stone and go at him again in a week or so, give my arm a rest. But if you wanted to know whether or not a pumice stone will work, it's not totally done, but it's made a huge dent. If yours is as bad as mine, it will take two of them. I'm just trying to show you the front. The front got pretty clean, I guess, because it was closest to me. But we're going to keep going at it. Just not today. <laughs> I'm going to move on to the chicken wire. Get that done for the cats. My ground is so wet, they're not digging today. It took me one and a half scouring sticks to get my toilet cleaned. I'm very happy with the results and it saved me a hundred dollars for a new toilet and the 
cost of installation anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars so each one of these sticks is less than two dollars so for three bucks I saved at least 50 times that three dollars that I spent so yeah I'm real happy with the scouring stick if you have hard water stains in your toilet I highly recommend it I really do you guys have a great day God is good all the time and all the time God is good Take care, take care of each other.